This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. A story that you would have been jarred by over the weekend as it continues to develop is the spiking of the drinks that has taken place in uh, Laos. Is that how I say it? Yeah. Um, this is really confronting. And the news this morning is also the tragic passing of two of the people involved, Bianca Jones, who's 19, and also Holly Bowles. They are two young girls on a trip of a lifetime. They are from Melbourne and their families have now spoken about their passing and they're working with the authorities to try and gain an understanding of what took place at the bar at Nana's Backpacker Hostel. Sorry, that's where they were staying. The bar was elsewhere. Um, That brings the death toll to six people Mm. that drank this so-called Tiger Vodka, which was the free shots that was passed around. There was a bottle on each table. I think there was over 100 people there that were offered free drinks that night. Ten people still in hospital. But the story of how they passed as well and the correspondence with their friends of messaging, you know, back and forth as they were sort of on the bathroom floor and they were said to be vomiting blood at the same time. It's Not just being well. absolutely horrendous. It's been very confronting seeing the vision um, of family members. Obviously a very long trip to make over there to be with mm. their daughters who were on who were on this trip. It's just absolutely Heartbreaking. So our understanding is that the the drink was laced with methanol. So the question that remains is, how did the methanol end up in the drink? Okay, so let let me understand this. Is it, are they saying is this something that um, it was spiked on purpose or it was it, it's accidental? Could that have been something a, that there's some process that goes wrong I think with the trying, making of the alcohol. Yeah, they're trying to establish that. Did it happen during production, or was this a deliberate spiking? That's the hardest part to determine, and that's what they're um, going to look into now as they work with the families. Tommy, you, well, Tommy, you were saying earlier, what's methanol in? Oh, well, it's in lots of, um, like, plastics and paints and car... You can use it for, like, car parts and antifreeze. Right, so antifreeze, not, that's yeah, right. not for human not consumption. Not for consumption, no. no. Right, and have they come out and said that it was a production error, or they just don't know at this they, stage? They just don't know, but they have, they've shut everything down so to try and, you know, pinpoint that... But yeah. They haven't said yes, but they have um, detained the the owner of the the hostel and and who was working there as well. I mean, if you're handing out free bottles of this stuff, mm. I mean, you, can't, you your mind runs, doesn't it? I mean, it's a natural place to play that you can't help but think it's a deliberate spiking. Why you're handing out free bottles of? But surely tiger you, vodka, the locally made vodka, when, and unless you are intentionally trying to harm. Uh, people, we know that this there's there's been a history of methanol poisoning. I think uh, maybe many years ago in Indonesia, I think something right. happened with some uh, young Australian men as well, from memory. Um, so I think people are obviously very aware of the effects of it and that it shouldn't be consumed by like just no just absolutely no. not. So unless is it a is it a way of serving cheap drinks? But that's the other option, isn't it? You wonder if it was just a top up because they needed to fill a bottle. Mm. You don't know what goes on over there. Thirteen twenty four ten. I know it's a heavy topic for your Monday. Have you ever had a drink spiked? Have you ever had something put into your drink mm. that obviously wasn't for human consumption or for the way it was meant to be consumed? Like, it's really, really scary. These two girls, especially when we speak about the Australian girls, um, Bianca and Holly, on the trip of a lifetime. Best friends. They're on a low budget, so they've got communal rooms where they are at the hostel, and they're on an adventure of a lifetime. And unfortunately, this takes place. So the saddest part, too, to think that the chat and correspondence was was there, um, you know, as they were, you know, fighting for their life, really, on the bathroom floor, um, and then the correspondence and the text was silent. So they then had a friend who turned up trying to find the two girls. They were meant to check out that day, I think. This yeah. is uh, back on November 12, I think, the spiking happened, and they were meant to check out of the hotel the following day, but didn't. Oh, my God. Our thoughts are with the families. But if you want to share a story or you know more about this, give us a call and get involved this morning. Uh, We're going to go to Anushka in North Manly. Good morning. Morning. Anushka, what happened? Uh, I was about the same age, which is the scary thing. I was about 19 or 20 and just on a night out with friends and, you know, you're given a free bottle of something and the next thing you know, you're kind of, yeah, unconscious or you don't remember what happened, so... You get given a free bottle, you've consumed that, and then you don't remember or you passed out? 
Yeah, I think I was unconscious for a couple of hours and my friends didn't know where I was. And yeah. Oh wow. God. And was this locally? No, this was also in um, Southeast Asia as well. And where were you when you'd passed out? I was still in the, the club. So they thought I'd left, but um, I was still there. Oh and what are your thoughts on w- why this happens? Do you think that this is accidental and it's just B grade liquor, Production. or is it is it something that happens uh, intentionally? Oh, I mean, it's hard to say. You know, I think obviously everyone's trying to make a profit, and perhaps. They just try and get cheaper alcohol. Who knows? And Noshka, because you're in that part of the world too, did you, did you mention it to the authorities at all or you just went, oh, my God, that's what happens over here and it was terrible? Yeah, I guess just being young, you kind of don't really really think about it and you just kind of write it off as a crazy story. But, you know, oh hearing God. about this, it's really scary. So once you, once you, so the following day, did you continue to be sick or...? Yeah, it was pretty unwell for the next day, but, um, yeah, luckily nothing worse happened. Oh, yeah. my God. Anushka, thank you for sharing. Let's go to Phil in Narawena. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Legends. How are you doing? Good, Phil. What's your story? Well, um, when I was a lot, lot younger, uh, me and my best mate had taken both our girlfriends out to the local to have a bit of a dance, have a couple of cheeky drinks, and just have a good night, you know, just yep. being young and having fun, right? And um, we'll get there. We've had a few pre-drinks. So um, me and my best mate were like, well, let's go to the loo. And um, the, we said to the girls, you, if you guys want to go grab your drinks first, and then we'll grab ours, right? And we'll sit down and we'll go from there. Um, when we come back, they're going, oh, these nice guys have bought us these drinks, right? And pointed to them. We're like, okay. Didn't think too much of it. And then we've gone and grabbed ours. Yeah. And the girls have only had one drink. Right. Yep. Then not long later, we're we're getting ready to dance, whatever we get on the dance floor, and then they just legs get wobbly, everything that just got really incoherent oh and God. not speaking really well, and we've just like, oh, what's going on? And it's clicked what's what's happened, but we've just gone. This is too far gone. We've got to get them home, and like Jeez. we end up carrying them on our shoulders like about five k's home. Oh my God, that bad? Yeah. Well, we couldn't we couldn't drive. Um, there's no taxis in the area. This is before Uber. And, um, yeah, they were just incoherent. Where were you, unfortunately. Phil? Unfortunately. Uh, in this area on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, right? Yeah. Um, and the next day, like, when we talked to the girls, when they were more coherent and whatever, yeah. um, they couldn't remember taking their first drink. Like, that's, it was that bad. And, and your drinks were okay then, is that what you're well, saying? We bought our own drinks. You bought your right. own and they'd been but gifted these drinks from these yeah, fellas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was very specific what happened and, and, and it was very clear the, the malicious intent of what these guys had planned for them, I'm guessing, yeah. Yeah, oh it must gosh. happen so often, but people Thanks, don't Phil. report it because somehow they think that they are, they're responsible, they've been out drinking, they've been they've mm. made their choices, maybe they drank a bit too much and you, you, when everything's a bit blurry anyway, you're, you're not quite sure. It's hard to determine. You can't point the finger. Andrew's in Parks. Hello, Andrew. You've actually been to this part of the world in Laos? Yeah, I have 14 years ago, and it's sort of like the adventure capital of Laos, and we were warned not to drink any um, open bottles of alcohol back then, and that was 14 years ago because of the same thing that happened to the girls. So deliberate spiking, you're saying, Andrew? Deliberate spiking 14 years ago. It oh, was, my God. It was, like it was still there then, and um, and were you backpacking, yeah, like, Andrew? Uh, at the time, yeah, I was. So it was a bit of a party scene over there. Yeah, it's sort of like, uh, yeah, because they had tubing, uh, white water rafting, all that sort of okay. stuff, and uh, a lot of tourists were there to relax because it was mountain biking tours and yeah. stuff like that. So but amazing, you had that information that someone obviously shared with you. Was that the? Do you know if that was the general consensus in the backpacking community there? Don't drink uh, any. Yeah, open. yeah. Uh, if you check into the hostel, you meet a few people that would say just be careful by beers if you can because of the bottles. Yeah, and and, and you go why just because of that reason that happened to the poor girls the other day. Oh my god, it's just awful, isn't it? Andrew? So that area yeah. is known for it. Yep, yep. So you would, yeah, but, so, yeah, 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 but because it's a like not known at the time, like no one knew about it. Mm. So 
Uh, it's on the map now, unfortunately. Because that bar to, to where they went, Andrew, you know, they, the expose they had on it, one, one reporter was in there yesterday, there's a menu of drugs that you can buy. So, you yeah. know, the law, the law is out the window in this bar where they were. I mean, you can buy oh, anything it, you want and it's advertised freely. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's lawless. Like, you can get any drug on the street. Just by asking a local, really, and yeah. they'll hook you up. Andrew, thank you, mate. Appreciate the story. Emily's in Parkville. Hey, Em. Hi. Em, you've had your drink spiked, is that right? Yes, I have. What and happened? Actually, so, my friend was actually the target. <laughs> a girl tried to spike his drink, and um, he passed it to me, mm. and I didn't know that it wasn't from him, so I drank it, and um, yeah, it was pretty bad. A girl? I was t- for like three days. A girl tried to spike your male friend's drink? Yeah. So she bought him the drink? Or did you see it happen? She gave him a drink that she'd obviously bought from home because it was it was out in, like, a bush. Right. <laughs> that she'd obviously gotten from home, and then he passed it to me, and then I got spiked. And, and you, yeah. Like and what was the effect, Em? Um, the effect, I was bedridden for three days and I was so sick. I was vomiting for, um, yeah. hours. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't get out of bed. Oh my God. There is a point, though, where you need to make the decision to call triple zero and yeah. get, get to the hospital. I guess you think that these things are going to pass and then it's too late. No, but it's like what you said, Kate. Sometimes you're not sure if the, if the detail's blurry anyway. Yeah. So you're kind of not sure where you're at. Em, thanks for your story. That is really scary. We'll keep you up to date on the news as this continues to develop. Fits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.